Good morning. It is 9.38 a.m. I just got assigned another delivery. And it is going to picking up in Fayetteville or Fayetteville, Arkansas. This is the place I'm picking up at right here. I'm a little confused as to what entrance I should use. Um because you see there's trailers here. They're in docks there. But also on this side of the building, there's docks here too. So I don't know if I enter through here and then go here or I just enter through here because this place it looks like it has a gate right there and so I what if it's locked does this place have a gate oh this place has a gate too okay you know what uh, I'll just set it for right here so that way this driver's side is closer to the docks and I can park it in correctly and worst case if it's not here I just circle around here and park it here we'll see not anyone there no sign say all full truckload carriers check in at door 10 okay check in at 10 shipping docks are doors 16 to 32 all right no overnight parking well I didn't want to park here anyways where's door 10 10 and 16 to 32 oh wow they have trees I don't want to park in the way. I just. Where is it? Door 10 right there. I'm gonna block these guys in. Uh oh. I don't have anywhere else to park. Uh... Alright. Alright. Well, yeah, there's nothing I can do. All right, she said door four, but look at this. It is, can you see? 102 degrees, Arkansas. This is, I step outside the truck is absolutely, what is that? Absolutely hot. I already got a farmer's tan. <laughs> Just from being in the truck. Like, I don't even go outside. I looked inside there, their warehouse. It looks like they just um, have a bunch of boxes. Like, foldable boxes. So maybe I'm shipping boxes. Again. Which I don't mind because they're they're a pretty heavy load. Any heavy load I will gladly take. That's the dock I have to go into door four. Well, and then yesterday at the loves that I was parked in, I sweeped out the whole trailer. So now that I'm here, all I have to do is back in the dock. And I don't, it's one less thing to do, you know? Right, how am I gonna... I think I have to put the truck into the driveway there. Yeah, yeah, I have to. 
Because there's not going to be enough space for me to go like pull up and then straight reverse back. No, I, I can't. Well, maybe there is, but I don't know. It's questionable. It's questionable. I think I can do it. Right? I don't know. No, no, no. Oh, blade safe. I don't... That That's cutting it really close. If I have enough space, it's going to be barely enough. And then, once I do that, it's going to be all messed up. And it's going to be really hard to get out of. But this way, going to the driveway, I'm guaranteed that I can park in there. shaker gosh this freaking truck man come on uh, what is that guy doing all right all right that's pretty good I go move the tandems Denims and then Let's see how long they take this guy's leaving so that means I'm the only truck that the uh, forklift guys have to focus on Rich I think like an hour Probably take an hour uh, It's like uh, it's probably 12 o'clock by the time I back in or say 1 o'clock yeah, because it's 11.42 right now. Hopefully. see how long they take all right they're all done uh, there's a way station 15 miles away along my route but I got the paperwork it's 5,500 pounds it literally literally put a feather in there it's full but just the stuff that's in there is really light I like the tandems here I will leave the tandems there and this delivery is going from Fayetteville, Arkansas to Finley, Ohio. Here. I want to get out of this guy's way. Before Schneider starts backing in and then I'm trapped here. No. No, no, no. Let's go. It is uh, 12 hours and like a half. With my slow pace, it's going to be like a... I schedule it for 16 hours. I'm probably gonna end up using all those 16 hours. So, in two days to get there, we should get there on time at 6.15 in the morning. You know what? The GPS said there wasn't a lobs this far along my route. 
I was gonna stop at a, I think it was a roadies or a road ranger where I don't get my points to, to get free showers at. So thankfully there's a Loves here. It's probably brand new, that was a problem. What the heck is going on here? Turn left on North Highway 125. Alright. Oh, this is a packed Loves. Well, is it even worth parking here? What is everyone doing? That guy's just parked there. That guy's in line. That guy, I don't know what that guy's in. Hey, look, I pulled up the satellite. It looks like there's a lot of spots here. I just have to go through here. So it's not small lugs. They should be fine, but I don't know what the heck everyone, everyone's doing. They're probably waiting in line for fuel. I don't need a fuel though. I gotta find a different exit. What are you doing? Where did, where did you come from? Oh, he ran over that curb. What are you doing, man? Where did you come from? What's How did you come from this direction? Did you drive through the fuel pumps the wrong way? What are you doing? Oh, there's a scale. I don't need a scale. Gosh dang it. I'm looking around, like waiting, like what's everyone doing? Like maybe someone's parking over here and they're saying, I don't need a scale, man. It's a line for the scale. Gosh, man. What am I doing? I need to park. Where's that guy going? Schneider, where are you going? I don't want to park next to Tanker. His tankers, they hold all these chemicals. Yeah, you see that flammable sign? Yeah, this guy's parking. You see that red triangle right there? It says flammable. I don't trust, I, I don't trust it. I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night, you hear boom. No, 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 no. I, I parked far away from them. Look at this. I think I have enough space if I go here and then pull through there. I mean, not a pull through, uh, ah, uh, straight back. But I have to get really close to those trucks. Oh. Oh. There's the spot. Right there. That's the spot. I just want to park. You guys get your fuel, get your skill. I just want to park. And back it up all the way till the tires hit the concrete. All right, about there. go holy cow it's freaking hot man jeez how hot is it a hundred and three degrees I don't even know where I'm at man I think I'm in uh I think I'm still in Arkansas it's freaking hot Holy cow. And then I checked uh, how many people are in line for a shower here. Seven people. Seven people in line. It's going to take forever. But that's it for day one. 
Tomorrow I get up at 3 a.m. Drive pretty much the entire day for 10 hours. And then shut down hopefully somewhere in um, uh, wherever the heck I'm delivering this to. I don't, I don't remember. But hopefully I'm there tomorrow. We'll see. And I'm back. Come on. Oh, I got a new bag. The red one that I had like for like a year and eight months broke. Well, I guess it didn't break, but I just didn't want it anymore. It was falling apart. Good morning, it is the next day. Today I have nine hours, 50 minutes, 10, we'll say 12 hours, 655 miles. Uh, because of that, I decided that I'm not gonna fuel in the morning, as I usually do, because there's a whole line at the fuel pumps, which is insane. Cause no one, I'm usually like one of the five people that are awake at this time. But I guess here down in Missouri, people wake up early. And um, so I'm not gonna fuel today, but there was a really bad storm last night. It woke me up. Look at this. All right, if it'll show up, yep, right there right in the heart of it I was hearing thundering all night lightning from over there and then I come in when I woke up at like 2 a.m. to check the weather it says there's lightning strike striking half a mile away from me so that was an issue but as you can see like it's moving down south you see by 247, 3, 330, it's gone. It's pretty much not an issue right now. It's moving its way down to Arkansas and uh, Mississippi, which I'm going north to Ohio, so not an issue anymore. Thank goodness. Let's get out of here. Hopefully there's no line to fuel, but it's 7.27 a.m. I freaking doubt it. Please drive to highlighted route. Uh, what are you guys doing? There's just a line to fuel. What are you doing? What the heck? Oh, that guy did a pull through and now he's trying to get out. Turn left on Illinois 127, then keep right. Alright, you really messed it up. What is this guy? Alright, he's got space right there. He'll be fine. I don't know why he's... I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh! 
You don't need to turn. You could have just kept the wheel straight and back straight out. Unless he's trying to t turn towards me. I don't know, man. Oh. Can I go over there? There. I might go over there. I don't know, man. I'll go around. Alright, where's this guy? Alright, creep. There's another creep coming. Which way are you going? Come on. Come on, man. Don't take your slow ass. Alright. This guy's taking his time. I'm gonna go. Oh, there's no line. There's no line to fuel. I, 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 I can't believe it. I can't believe there's no line. People usually start rolling, start driving at this time. Like before they start driving, they fuel. It's 7.30. This is, this is amazing. All right, I have about, GPS says I'll get there at three. So right now it's 7.30. What's the math on that? 7.30, I need my fingers. 8 30, 9 30, 10 30, 11 30, 12 30, 1 30, 2 30, 3. Eight hours. I've already been driving, um, well, I got sorry at 3 30 for like four, four hours already. I still have eight hours. It's crazy. $428 and that's with uh, the fuel discount that uh, GP gets because they have a deal with Lubs they say we'll use your, your all only Lubs truck stops to fuel our 500 and something trucks but you gotta give us a discount and that's that's with the discount imagine if what it is without maybe at least 500 Still said the field on fire, just cutting across the pasture. Should have you fallen for it only right after. And I broke in my dad by soaking gun. And I got broken, let them wild horses run. Let them run. Long live cowgirl, never settle on down, girl. But in a lonely world's town, world where the sun don't rise. Rodeo for one night, love you like a Mustang. Hold everybody in it up, man. Not everybody in it up, man. And it don't not. White truck. Rodeo for one night, silver car. Come on. Silver car. Let him run. Long live town, girl. Hey, everybody on town, girl. Hey, everybody on town. about it's 12 35 say 1 35 2 or 35 two and a half hours away from shutting down shut down at three 
I need to find a truck stop. Uh, okay, Garmin. Truck stop along my route. Need like 160 miles, ideally, away. Which result would you like? That would be two and a half hours. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. Uh, scroll down. That's so close. This guy's under the bridge. Fifteen. Add as next stop. Going to Lowe's travel stop on Village Avenue in Beaver Dam, Ohio. Better stay there, tanker. I hate driving in cities like this. Too many cars. I want to get my slow self in the right lane. Speed limit 50. Alright, plan is... I... Yeah, uh, I have uh, about four hours to m get to the delivery, but it's not due until tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna drive three and a half hours, shut down there, and then tomorrow morning I'll get going at like, I don't even know. I'll get going and I'll make it there. I've been driving forever. I started at like 3.30. It's like, it's 2.44 right now. It's almost, it's almost 12 hours. What are you doing? Cutting in too close. Less than a second following distance you cut in. And on a curve. I'm, today I've worked like, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, like a full-time job and a part-time job in one day, 12 hours. And I'm not even done. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, man. The amount of potholes I've driven over to where the truck goes like, this and I'm freaking bouncing. Literally, I went airborne. Oh, they're coming. They're getting the left lane. They're merging on. And the amount of trucks that have passed me, it's got to be at least 100 trucks. Here, yeah, what are you doing, grain hauler? You need space? I'll let you in. I'll let you in. I got you. People don't know how to merge and look before they merge. The amount of trucks that have passed me has got to be at least a hundred. Well, let me back in. Send my truck right lane. I drive like grandpa. Freaking hundred semi trucks passed me. I, I'm staying in right lane. But you know what? We're not too far from the lobs to shut down or so. A little bit more. There's not even a loves. It's a freaking Turn pilot. The traffic light. Then take the first right. Garmin. It led me all this freaking way, man. It's not even a loves. It's a uh, one of those Speedco repair shops, which is owned by loves, but it's not a loves truck stop. I don't get my free shot. I gotta pay for a shower. Well, I guess it's fine. I don't want to pay for a shower though, man. They upcharge the heck out of these showers. 16, 15, 16 bucks. That guy's speeding through here. 
I'm gonna pay for no dang shower. Man! Alright, there's a Flying J and there's a Pilot. They're owned, aren't they owned by the same company? They're, it's the same thing. Right, I want to go to Pilot because I see more parking spots here. I need to take this so I can make this turn. Back of the truck stop parking. That's what I saw. Well, are they even parking spot? Are they reserved? Don't tell me they're reserved. I see yellow reserves. Why are the reserve signs at the parking spots at the very back of the truck stop where you have a long walk like these these should be paid parking where you get close to the truck stop and you don't have to walk so much yeah you see these yellow signs you have to pay you have to pay to park at the very back of the truck stop where are you going where are you going where are you going These are literally all paid parking. What? That doesn't make sense to me. Why? Look at that truck. Look at that. Look at this Freightliner. It's got like poker. Dude, that is so cool. Dude, look at that. That's amazing. It's got flowers on it. Alright, here's parking. I was distracted. I'm gonna park next to this guy. Please drive to highlighted route. Uh, red truck. Red truck. Red truck. Uh, I can't straight back. <laughs> smooth Freightliner, smooth backing. None of that jolty stuff that you do. Uh, <laughs> oh, there you go. I need to delay this turn a little bit and now we can start turning right or left I turned the wheel to the right but it turns left oh that's too close that's too close uh, I can fix it now okay now straight mm. Way too much turny turny. You know what? Mm. This is ugly. You know what? I did it the complicated way. But I got it. I only have 20 minutes. I only had 20 minutes left to legally drive. I never, I never even come close to that. Maxing out, I never do that. This is rare. This is how much I drove today. Nine hours and 20. It was longer than nine hours, man. It's 12 hours. It's four o'clock. I started at 3.30 a.m. It's now 4.06 p.m. I'm telling you, man, I drive slow. It's, it's saying nine and a half. No, 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 no. It says 627 miles. But in total, with stopping at the at the loves to fuel, and I actually got lost. I mixed, missed my exit because this thing said take exit 112. There was no exit 112. 
and I was going toward Chicago instead of toward Ohio. That was a mess. So in total, I drove 641 miles today. That's insane. It's too much. But the good news is that I am only 32 minutes away from where I need to deliver tomorrow, which the appointment is due at 6.15 a.m. So like, we'll say like an hour, an hour drive to be safe. So I get to take an extra long break, which is good, because I need it after driving. That's too much driving, man. I'm going to go buy a shower now. Alright, I'm here. Do I just park there? With the trucks? If I park here, where the heck do I check in at? I can't be right. There's nowhere to check in. Let me see the map. Where are we at? Uh, it says there's a gate along this road here and then it goes to the back of the building there. I don't know where else to go. Oh, I could go left. I think it's down here. Alright, this is a live unload as usual, but they do it in an interesting way here. They want me to drop the trailer here and they'll, one of their uh, yard jockeys will come and pick up the trailer. Oh, oh but I need to suit the slide tandems. One of the yard jockeys will pick up the trailer and then they'll bring it to the dock for me. And then I have to go park at um, that place over there, that staging area, and they'll, they'll call me when it's ready. And they have all the stuff out of the trailer. Which, I mean, the trailer's completely full. It's all on pallets though. It's not like individual uh, boxes like some loads are so it should be should be standard like an hour hopefully This delivery was absolutely insane in terms of miles. It was like a, it said like 12 hour trip on Google Maps. I think in reality, it was like 
maybe 15 hours, 16, maybe. It's like almost a thousand miles, which is absolutely insane. Now I'm gonna go pick up my next delivery in Ohio that delivers to Elk Grove, Illinois. And then hopefully from there, I can do my 34 hour reset at the GP Transco headquarters in Joliet. Because I have my, they have my fishing spot there in the woods and I wanna go fishing. So anyways, bye bye.